Hey y'all, this is a message to God's daughters about your inheritance and all that he has for you. One of the first things that he has is his blessing. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow to it. And I said, Lord, does that mean that I'm not blessed? I've seen a lot of sorrow. And how do we reconcile that with everything that we go through as your daughters, um, as your children? And that blessing is where he where we receive everything from him. Without God's blessing, the enemy can come in and do so many things to you. And I said, am I not blessed of you, Father? Because it feels like the enemy has come in. And then I began to think of Jacob, later named Israel. When he received the blessing of the Lord, first of all, he stole his brother's blessing. And then he went on to live with Laman which was his mother's brother and he met his wife there rachel and after he met rachel he loved her he worked for his father-in-law for his 14 years because first he gave him leah and then as we know he gave him rachel so he tricked him and then he he gave him rachel so he worked for him seven years but when he left um before he went to go see his brother esau um because he was afraid that Esau was going to do something to him, he went to the Lord, and um, the angel of the Lord and, and Jacob wrestled all night, and he said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me, and the angel of the Lord said, you have prevailed with God and man, and I think this is in uh, Genesis chapter 35, but if not, I'll put it in the notes. And he said, I will change your name to Israel because you have prevailed with God and man. And so, and then the Bible says that the angel of the Lord blessed him there. And so then he went to go see his brother Esau and he blessed Esau and he separated from Esau because he was smart enough to know what he had done to him and that he didn't want to be around him. So even though he told Esau that he would meet him back in the location where uh, Esau was living he went his own way but my point dear sister is this that as soon as he received this blessing from the Lord things started happening you know Rachel hid her um her idols when her father she stole her father's idols and her father came after them and when her father came he came looking for his he came looking for his idols and Jacob said whoever has your idols will uh, die and Rachel pretended that she was on her period so in those days they sat down in the same place all day because they didn't have pads and tampons so she sat down and she did not get up and they didn't find the idols um, the, these images that they had made so she went on but later things started to happen that didn't look like the Lord was adding blessings to us, uh, making him rich and, and not adding sorrow. First, he settled someplace with the, I can't remember, in Shittim, I think it is, but I'm not sure. I'll have to put it in there again because I read it, but I don't have my Bible in front of me. So he went to go, um, he went to settle someplace, Jacob, when he didn't settle with his brother. Um, I'm sorry, Esau. And so when he got there, his daughter um, was taken, one of the guys was taken by his daughter and she, and he slept with her. And I want to say her name is 
I can't think of her name right now, gosh, but I'll put it in the thing. I wish I had my Bible, but I just wanted to stop and get this out. But she was, he slept with her. It wasn't really rape, but that was like an ungodly thing because he slept with her before marriage. But then he wanted to marry her. So her brothers, all of the, the men in the family, her brothers, Israel's sons, told them, sure, let's get married and all this. And he was fine with it. Jacob was like, okay, let's do this. we could take the shame off of her and we'll mate with you guys and the people were cool with it and the fathers had met and so her brother said oh um you have to be circumcised first like us and so while they were laying they they even agreed to be circumcised as grown men and while they were laying there recovering from the circumcision her brothers went in and killed everybody so jacob had to leave that place that was sorrow but God said his blessing makes rich and adds no sorrow to it. And I was trying to reconcile this. And then... left Rachel the love of his life he waited 14 years for her he loved her died in childbirth giving birth son Benjamin that was more sorrow so I'm trying to reconcile all of this and the Lord blessed him and he is known as the children of Israel where we get our whole um, religion from he's the seed of Abraham and it went on down and then there was Isaac and Isaac begot Esau and Jacob and Jacob got the Blake of the blessing and then he became Israel this is what I'm talking about this ain't just no anybody this is Israel for which a whole country is named for which our faith is named and then dear sister he finally settled in the place where he was going to be for a while and his favorite son joseph his 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 brothers were jealous of joseph his other sons were jealous of joseph joseph's brothers and they sold him into egypt and he didn't see him for many many years and i asked myself god people would think one thing if they don't know the whole story somebody would go around and say oh you can
got to have all this and nothing bad is going to happen to you if you're going to be a child of God. And they would put the blessing based on one thing and not know that Jacob was blessed and he's still blessed and his name is Israel and we're blessed because of him because he received the faith and the blessing of his father Abraham it was attached to him and it went down and picked up on one person and one person and one person what I'm trying to say is God is a good good father he did not add sorrow people and life and trials and decisions of other people and even some of Jacob himself added sorrow but God's blessing does make rich and it adds no sorrow God didn't add that sorrow to him so daughter sister if you're going through something and you're trying to understand and grasp how you could be blessed and thinking maybe you're not blessed because you're going through things understand that God's blessing still stands and he doesn't look at time as we do a day in the Lord, a day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as the day, as one day with the Lord. He doesn't count time like we do. So some of us would consider him to be slack, but God knows what he's doing, and he's not just looking at you, and he's not just looking at your generation. He's looking at your eternal inheritance and your.